Hey bro, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. I hope you had an amazing beginning of the week. Today it was all about styling sneakers five different types of ways. So if you want to see the rest, of course, keep on watching. Hello, this is outfit number one. As you can see, I paired it up with my favorite sneakers at the moment. I thought that mixing them with something much more trendier as well as the sneakers would be a really, a really nice contrast. Everything being neutral, you kind of have to play with fabrics and just shapes or design here. Earrings, which are more colorful than the rest of the outfit. I have my bag, which is a different style. So yes, you either like it or you hate it. So it's okay. Perfect for weekend. You are with your hubby, if you have kids, or if you have a family you have to take care of, and you just don't want to be on heels every single time. This is a perfect outfit because you still look pretty much feminine, stylish, and you don't have to do a lot when it comes to it. I have so many friends that are so against sneakers and I'm just realizing that the more you wear it, the more you kind of see how easy it is to just style it with every single thing. This outfit is definitely for moms out there or people that just don't like to be too dressed up or too on heels or they just don't like heels in general. So. I do like heels, but I do like my sneakers too. I said it's still super feminine, and this skirt is from Zara from my haul. Very really easy to just style it. You can wear it as this because it's not super cold outside still. It's not super covery as this tank top. It's a good start, it's a good way to start the outfit here. So if you're a monochromatic type of person, yes, you can go with that. A nice neutral color that would be good for not everybody but most people really cute really really cool really really sexy really really feminine like my me okay second outfit you either like it or you hate it but i love it it's okay <laughs> honestly the skirt reminds me of that all time in villages like the style is really really all looking if i could say it like that that vintage vibe again but i like put it up with a t-shirt which is much more basic dress it down really fast and really quick i think it's a mix match it's a crisscross here because there's a street style and then there's a feminine touch with the skirt so it's all up to you to just play with mix matching pieces and mix matching styles there's always rules to everything but i go from the rule number one is that you do whatever you feel really comfortable in, in you know, so that you don't need to have every single sneakers out there at the moment. You can have one of them and just like go with it every single time you want to style something. And it's still gonna give a different touch because of the different clothing piece that you're gonna style it with. That's a key here, bring another vibe to the outfit. My skirt from Zara, my t-shirt is from Zara as well, I bought it a couple of months ago. And then you have the same bag that I showed you on my first outfit, but there is another way to actually carry it. Much more urban. Uh, the CD type of look, CD type of style, is what I love the most about this look. It's not printed, there is much more print, you have the printed skirt, you have some designs on the t-shirt so if you want to keep it that way you can but always remember that you have to go with the same color family if you want to mix my designs and prints so it's a pretty long skirt so slits are a mess when you're short always say it we always say it but that's pretty much it with this outfit i do like it a lot i don't know why on instagram people were so against my skirt but it's okay like it's okay i still love it yeah then look, this one gives me life from the get-go. It's really much more like fall looking because you got the long trench coat from H&M and then you still got the same t-shirt and the same sneakers, so nothing more to it. What I did here is to just play with prints again and color. Biggest, 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 biggest baby at the moment being my scarf, my chiller print scarf. Play with like warm colors, warm tones, warm shades. So you can add it because it's the same color family. A bit of warmer color but much more bolder and no prints at all. This was my trendy coat. 
much more street style, urban, and I would even say that for anybody back to school, it could be a look, it could be a type of look that you can actually incorporate in your wardrobe when you are a student. I would wear it to go to university if I was still going. <laughs> It's really, really, really easy to put together. Like, it's not for moms, but it's much more like for younger generation and younger people. It's nice, 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 trendy outfit, trendy look because you get the print scarf, you got the chunky sneakers. The one I like the most, probably. I'm all about having something much more urban at the moment. I don't know why, and I will still play with my gothic side. You know that. You know me. I'm not gonna say more. <laughs> I love this scarf a lot. So uh, let me know what you think about it. I think it's pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty fall ready, if I could say it like that. So whenever it's like much cooler, you can start incorporating much more jacket, much more coats. And this one is a really, really great pick. It's similar because I bought it a couple of months ago, so clearly they don't have it no more. I'll be linked down below. As usual, this I yeah. Ta-da! Ta -da. It's all about trying again to mix match pieces here and to give a sneaker look. Still looking and being feminine at it. I'm not trying to be a tomboy at all. So so cute, but I'm loving the look. To have my silky dress, my night look silky dress, just to have a sweat on top of it. Just remember that I had something like that similar that I bought last year and I discovered it all over again. So I'm trying to find similar sweat if you really like it, if you're really digging the look, but I will try and do my best for it. Still stayed in the brown type of shade family because it's where I feel the most comfortable in to be honest and it's really really suitable for my skin tone too so it's even better. Really nice slate here so we play with the length again everything is covered in long you want to play with length if you have sneakers and you don't have heels give the sleep treatment you have to give the sleep treatment otherwise you're gonna look so much shorter and you don't want that this is my last look my fifth and last look stink and got back to my white sneakers i bought it a couple of weeks if not months ago I it with my bd bag from zara as well so you guys know this bag way too much and a neutral basic color and in between fabric style colors and uh, I really love the result at the end. It's still really, really, really feminine. It's actually much more feminine for everybody, every girl hitting heels against heels and just wanting to stay in her sneakers for life. I paired them with my Creoles from Zara because I think it's really a nice way to just mix match the silver, the black, the white and then in the middle you have a sort of pink burgundy going on. The biker jacket, my classic biker jacket will do wonder with it. You can have it with a longer jacket as well. You can do a lot. I would say that this, this look is really cute. I really love the the contrast between the black and the white is a good way to start your outfit and then play with everything around it. It's all about starting from something really basic here as usual. So when you go with something much more basic, neutral, you want to have a nice fun accessory. This bag is really fun in terms of the style, the design, under the color is black. It's my third favorite I think. Although I think the skirt is still really short for me, I would say that having sneakers doesn't make it too sexy either. So it's a good way to balance it out a little bit, but you don't feel naked. <laughs> Not too much. I, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, let me know what was your favorite outfit so far and why in the description box below. All about listening to you guys and see what you guys like, what you guys don't like so much. And I'm always, always available and reachable 
to have all your feedback giving fashion advice of course i'm always reachable always available on my social media instagram snapchat facebook uh, twitter everything is gonna be down below as usual nothing new to it love sneakers i've been loving sneakers more and more I don't have a lot of sneakers actually i probably have two or three pairs of sneakers that i would wear like on a regular basis but most of them are really on the neutral side because I again don't want to have way too many pairs of sneakers either. I want with a way to just style the same sneakers, a lot of different types of way for you to see that you don't need to have a collection. But if you want to go with one, I always, always, always suggest no prints, something much more neutral so that it goes really easily in your wardrobe. And when it comes to like styling, even with different type of like pieces, classic, much more trendy, much more urban, you can still do it with the same pair of sneakers. My like basic is just like really mixing, matching pieces. I hope you loved it. I hope you liked it. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I guess I'm gonna see you guys for my next video. And until then, have a beautiful weekend, enjoy it with the family and with everybody loving around you. I'm gonna wish you a happy weekend and like I say all the time, smile because it's free. Bye. Merci d'avoir regardé ma vidéo, j'espère que vous avez adoré, j'espère que vous avez apprécié. Aujourd'hui c'était vraiment en rapport avec les sneakers, les chunky sneakers, les ugly sneakers, les dad sneakers. On leur donne tellement de noms. Je vous ai montré 5 manières de pouvoir associer et pouvoir faire des tenues basées sur deux paires de sneakers, celles que je mets le plus. Je suis vraiment allée dans une sorte de mélange où vous pouvez trouver quelque chose de beaucoup plus urbain avec quelque chose que vous pouvez mettre pour aller à l'université. Les mamans qui ont juste besoin d'être stylé sans avoir à avoir des talons tout le temps, surtout si vous avez des enfants en bas âge. Donc, encore une fois, pour vous montrer qu'on peut mettre des sneakers. Ça n'a pas nécessairement à être laid, il y a une manière de l'associer, il y a une manière de le faire. Puis la plupart du temps, ça donne un bon résultat si on a l'esprit ouvert. Après, si on n'aime pas, on n'aime pas. Peu importe la tenue, vous aurez un problème avec. Mais c'est correct aussi parce que c'est pas tout le monde qui met des sneakers avec des robes. Et je comprends tout à fait. Je sais que c'est pas pour tout le monde. Mais j'adore faire ça. Voilà. À cet effet, je vous ai montré plusieurs tenues. Puis j'espère que vous avez aimé. J'espère que vous avez apprécié. Puis là, bah, c'est ça. <rire> Les détails par rapport à tous mes concours et tout ce que je fais en général vont être en bas associés à mes réseaux sociaux, Instagram, que ce soit sur Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Et c'est là, j'espère que je vais avoir des commentaires sur ce que vous avez apprécié le plus, c'était quoi vos tenues favoris et pourquoi. Pour voir la semaine prochaine, je vous fais de gros bisous, passez un super beau week-end, puis comme je le dis toujours, souriez parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye. <rire>